Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play King's Bounty Crosswords with no fair fight. And we have only one um, demon fight left. All the other guys are already down. Um, we could go to the Dragonlands, but this army is not good in fighting dragons. We all know that. These guys are pretty bad at dragon fighting. So, um, yeah, we're not going to do that. However, we're going to fight this guy. So, he has dragons. That is a little bit problematic for us. But, um... Oh boy, that is a lot of dragons for sure. Just look at the number of dragons. Oh, this is bad. They're not doing that much damage, but that is mainly because there is only five of them. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. That is a lot of dragons. Ouch. And we're on fire. Great. First things first. Dispel. We have to dispel the fire. And then we'll call in Willy. This hits the Inquisitors as well. That is not good. But I see no other way. Because we really, really hit to have to hit this dragons otherwise. Or maybe we can do it that way. Because the dragons should die by themselves. We could, however, just wait for them to get a little bit closer. Ow. Okay. Let's get something to play for them, shall we? Yes. Um, now, let's first call in Willy and let him do this. That will get rid of the volcano because the volcano is so close to us is a problem. And then we'll give him a black hole. That kills a lot of the dragons. Beautiful. Then we'll call in these guys. The problem is now the way is free for these two to attack us. We don't want that to happen. So first things first, we kill this one here. We're still burning. The problem is this guy can charge directly into us. We don't want that to happen. So the only thing we can do is go over here. But if we go over here, he will be able to bite us. So the only way we can go is this way. Because we don't want the fish to attack us. We'll give him another turn. The and then I think we're in range of the fish. I don't like being in range of the fish. Because the fish is going to be a problem. I can only hope that the Sabri will find the demon more interesting than us. And they do, beautifully. Isn't that nice? Okay, you will rise some drakes for me. Beautiful. You will rip out their life and replenish our Inquisitors because they took the bolt, the main of the damage. We immediately want to stop our bleeding, uh, our burning. Beautiful. And then we really have to get rid of this guy here, right? But we might be able to do that a little bit differently. We can rise more dragons here, which is never bad. The only thing that is better than some dragons is uh, more dragons. Um, Willie needs some training. But we also need treasure chests. So, yeah, let's get some chests on the road. Remember, chests can contain gems and uh, runes. And we're pretty low on runes. When we level up now, we're getting less and less runes all the way. 
Okay, that is a strange maneuver. I have no idea why he moved there, because that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. You want to get a chest? Why is he going for the chest? He's, his job is to kill me, not get a chest. Okay, whatever. Let's fight this guy with all we have. Moment. Then in that chest. We need to be ruined. Uh, Runes. We can fire at this guy, and we should absolutely do that. Beautiful. Oh, crap. That is bad business for us. Because these guys are not uh, made to get into our forces. Yeah, that is someone you can shoot at your heart's leisure. Um, good question, good question. Good work here. We could attack him, but I think we should not. We should... No, we should get that. Thank you. Um... Shashi Shushunk. You get the treasure chest here. And I think then we wake up Willy and use his rage because, again, we have to train Willy a little bit more. Willy, my Willy here, should get on his chair because it's too hard to make recordings when Willy is jumping around. Um, so, this guy here is a problem, right? But these are as well. So we're firing them first hand. You wake up, Willy. We have to block this guy in, this um, beholder in, because if we don't block him in, um, he will shoot at us, and we don't want to be shot at. We don't have to fear that the demons are killing the um, beholder, because they're not capable of that. Can you breathe this guy, maybe? Hola oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a lot of pain here. How about some pain mirror? That wouldn't kill even even a good number. Um kill this guy. Willie is still asleep. I think we should wake him up and cast something that hurts them. Just because we can use the rage. We need to use up the rage. If we don't use up the rage, um, that's not helping. Training is everything. And Willie has to get better. A lot better. Good work here. Numbers are shrinking. Um, I hope the numbers are shrinking. We should get back over here because we have to do some healing with the paladin. And we're basically ignoring the fish. Oh, that was a mistake. 19 of the Whoa, good shooting. Um, you will just get the treasure chest. And you will get the treasure chest. And oh, you will get the treasure chest. Show you that the fish. The fish. will take down the fish. Beautiful. The fishes are down. Willie is not yet aware that you should not scream when you make recordings because some people have very sensitive ears, Willie. Oh. So, we should be resurrecting us, right? Good work. And you should be doing nothing. You should be doing this. I don't think we have full strength yet, but we can check simply by casting resurrection. But everyone seems to be at full strength. So, what we're doing is cast stone skin, because, again, we have to train our... Um, hero, heroine, what, the lady, I mean, the lady, beautiful. Uh, we 
could fire at him. The only problem is we'll hit our own people, but we don't care so much for our own. All things considered, we could actually stay in combat two turns longer and try to take um, more stone skin training with us. The problem is I think the demons are going to kill them pretty fast. Yeah, they did. There goes the hope. No, we lost necromancers. I wasn't paying attention. Um, increased damage. I don't think we'll learn the stone war after all. So, what are you selling? We're buying that because that is an artifact. For the rest, we don't have a lot of views. But this little guy here, we can collect. How wonderful to see you, madam. If a kind lady wishes, a perkovit will heal your wounds and restore your energy. I do not ask for gold. No, I will do this for free of charge. Sounds suspicious. Which it is. Are demons accustomed to doing something for nothing? You want to hurt, Ipucat? The strange demon indeed looks wronged. I am not Chet. I will heal, madam. And this way, Bakatan will learn more about the healing of humans. I trade a little work for greater knowledge. Perhaps there's something I can do. Um... You are the runaway slave. Yes, escape. No longer will be Lamp Rat for insane butcher. For a long time, Ipocrat has been susceptible to torture and pain. I have drunk poisons and acid. I've died five times and three times I got insane. Numerous are occasions where poor Ipocrat had been deprived of his arms, eyes, or legs, or eyes. Ipocrat have learned to live with pain and mastered the art of medicine to cure himself. Now Ipocrat can treat others better even than my heartless master. Uh, Esprit will not even choice between he transplanted a monkey brain into me and not my own brain. Okay, we'll take this guy with us. But we will not give him over to the dark unless this guy is selling us something we really need. Oh, we should absolutely equip our... Um, not this one. This one here. Because then we can keep our range better. I should have done that in the first place. That was totally my fault. Run, forest! People may wonder why I'm so fond of the necromants, but their ability to lock down enemy skills is simply impressive. So, now we equip the normal stuff again. Now, theoretically speaking, where is my minus helmet? Ah, here it is. Theoretically speaking, this little guy here, this imp, can restore your mana five times. So we could keep him and just use him to replenish our mana in other fights and then come back here. But we're already here and I say, why, why bother, honestly? Just get it over with. Um, you're selling... Oh, he's selling imps. If we kill him, we might run out of imp supplies. Especially because I think he's the only one who's selling the scuffer imps. However, uh, we don't need the imps that much anymore. So I say, screw this guy. We have the furniture, but we'll not give him that. If you harm, you will have to deal with us. Doesn't have great chance to see this one around the world. Send the student for me to post with you. Well, give me a pocket and take your reward and get out. Creator of hundred access for torture. Oh boy, this guy is nuts. Okay, um, this guy is nuts. We'll take care of him. Okay, biggest problems first. This guy cannot be allowed to use his little lady, because if he does, this lady will stop uh, start teleporting our people to her place. So first things we do is we make a smaller copy of him here. And then we 
blast the suckers. And then we stop her from teleporting people around. Okay, that was evil. I have an idea. I'm not entirely sure you're going to like it. Okay, we'll send in forces. The more forces, the better. The demons will hit them like hell. But that is okay, because the harder they hit, the more our pain mirror will hit them. Oh boy, just look at the raw numbers of demons this guy has at his disposal. This is insane. <laughs> oh, oh, the pain, the pain. Okay, all units fire at will. We have to get these guys out of the field. You will give them another turn. I should have moved, however. Let's move forward, try to... Oh, they're all so close together. I mean, look at this. Wouldn't this be a beautiful hit? Yeah. Right where it hurts the most. Theoretically speaking, we could also just use the uh, head down dive on the enemy. But uh, I don't think it will be that effective. Good hit there. Uh, rip their life. No, no, we're not ripping out life forces yet. We're just firing. New turn. Okay, we cannot do black hole at this point, sadly. But we can go a little bit forward and just blast the suckers. Oh! Oh! This guy sheeped us. Now that is evil. Not so much of a problem, though. So he will die any second, I guess. No, we'll just call in that. More forces for us to fight. We try to spread out for the simple reason. Oh, we start missing. This is not good. And our demons will not hold out forever. Wooly is ready to move, so maybe... Maybe we'll let it rain, rain right down on them with another phantom. Wouldn't uh, that be great? But... But? Dead. Yeah, it'll kill our demon, but that's okay. But Mr. Demon... Oh, now we're feel fearful. <laughs> I forgot about that fearful thing. Did I? Okay, let's black hole them well that did good damage to them didn't it good work here we should start getting our treasures treasure chests out of the ground Okay, we should get ready to replenish our dead. The problem is, what do we do when he starts doing his, um, you know, pain thingy again, his lightning? That would be bad for us. Well, I have an idea what to do, but I don't like the idea a bit. Um, we could cast Sacrifice, sacrifice these, but that is, okay, no, that's, that's not, not gonna cut it. You steal their life force and replenish these. Please don't lightning ball me. I hate being lightning balled. No, he's casting resurrections on spiders. 
What sense does that mean make? In which part of the world does that make any sense? Dad, no, not dead. We need the treasure chest before they're all dead, Willie. And they will be dead pretty, pretty, pretty soon. But the next spell I want to... I think we have enough mana for it. We cannot... Um, yes black hole them because if we black hole them I don't want to black hole them what is your plan tell me your plan it's like with homework first thinking talking then doing I don't know the name of the spell what does the spell do I don't know but I know it was a good spell nothing for us to replenish they're not dead everything's fine Okay, Ice Snake is not really going to cut it, sadly. Um, this demons will be a problem, because that's a real big number of demons, by the way. Oh boy, look at that. Question is, how do we get that treasure chest? And replenish these. If he now makes some... Um, a lightning ball thingy we're out of everything okay no more for us Wait, so I know which spell. we can do that that will kill a good number of everyone and it will train Willy and Willy training is always good and then we'll have to do something to I take them my... out of the fight first I... talking then doing I, I don't know the name no screaming I want this. This is no use for us, Willy. What should the Chao Dragon of Chaos do for us at this point? It will make boom when they uh, when they. And what does it. boom help us? That they are killed. No, we're killing them anyway, Willy. We have no use for boom. Why? Because we're playing this with intellect, not with just fancy clicking. I told you what I think of looking. Looking is looks are nothing. Unless you're uh, thinking you can use that for something. Um, but that's for adults. Whoa, okay. We just want you to go here and get ourselves the chest. Nice. And we'll just keep firing on them. The problem is what happens if he starts yeah, doing exactly that. That is pretty bad. I know what we can do to... No, we should keep that together. We need a copy of him. And then we need to keep firing on this guy. Oh, crap. What are you doing? Oh, he's he's panicking. Okay, he's he's fearful. Um, you will give him another turn, and then you'll wait, and you will give him another turn. The biggest problem again is the fact that our enemy can do this lightning strike stuff on us, because that really sucks. Okay, let's get some something to play with. Maybe we can blind the spider. If we blind the spider theoretically... Um, no, it doesn't work. Okay, we need... First of all, we need a smaller copy of him to replenish the demologists. And then... I think we call for an egg. We'll not give a lot of experience because we're too far in the fight. And the later you do the egg thing, the less, less experience you will get. So it will only be 50 experience at this point, which is basically nothing. So I want you to rip out his life force to replenish him. I want you to go over here and then over here. 
and then burn the spider. The spider will immediately kill the um, phoenix. Phoenix, because our phoenix is crap. It's a young phoenix. It has nearly no hit points whatsoever. Okay, that is something we can live with unless the sheep is running away. If the sheep's running away, that would be bad. Yeah, guess what it did. Um, then we'll all be moving over here. He'll be moving here. Then pausing, he will be moving there. Um, and pausing, he will... I cannot rise anything. I can just fire on the bunch. Okay, maybe we can... No, it's not enough. It is not enough. We could, however, make a smaller copy again of him. And this. the sheep can't r run away. We cannot refill him. We can only refill him, so that must be enough. And you go and resurrect everyone. We have to get away from each other, because if we don't get away from each other, these guys are firing again. And if they're firing again, we're dead. Um, we fire at these guys. We fire at him. He's relatively slow. Relatively slow. We have a lot of rage, so what we should do is... Wake up Willy, first thing. Cast a stone skin. I hope we have no losses. I might have ruined this by not healing this guy up. We'll see. And then we'll fiery phantom this guy into oblivion. Remember, it's all about training Willy. I hope we didn't lose anything. No! Lucky us, we didn't. Thank you, madam. Nobody ever did anything like this for Hippocrat. Hippocrat will repay the debt. Hippocrat has decided he will take the place of Asaki and will treat all the residents of Tetera. Not, of course, in the manner of my master and predecessor. No, quite the reverse. Hippocrat will now cause pain and... Uh, not cause pain and suffering, but heal and smooth. Wait, kind lady, it seems like the master have offered you this reward for my capture. So he's paying us. So we made a good portion. What is he selling? He's still selling imps, although not the imps we need, which is bad, because that means we have no longer access to the imps that we need. So no more imp armies for us. What a shame, what a shame. Um, there is one more target we can attack with this army. This army is basically made for killing undead. And there is one more undead, well, it might be more than un one undead army, but there is one undead army in particular that I think of that we could attack um, as a good end of this episode. It's already a quite long episode, I know that. Um, but we're giving it our best shot. And that guy is on Umkus. It's actually not a guy, it's an animal. Most of you will know now what uh, know what I'm talking about. Funnily enough, you can already see what the anim army is consisting on. It's um skeletons. Are you selling? We have got all these spells. So, He's looking for a scroll called Necro Core, which is a very high level scroll. We took a long time it took us a long time to fight this find this scroll, and it's very, very valuable. So this scroll costs thousands of gold if you try to buy it. Keep that in mind. And he takes it, his all wings flap in applause, and he takes the scroll from your hands. With great skill he unfurls it, scans it, contents, and with great attention begins to read. You don't have time to stop him. Agastrum Sanct Christus Magnum Sum Necro Faguzli. Faguzi. What are you doing, you brainless chicken? There are skeletons all over this area. Because that is what he's doing now. He's rising all the skeletons. Now you say skeletons are no problem. You have no clue. Because look at the number of skeletons. 
This is an army of skeletons. That is a real problem. And it's not like we're doing a lot of damage to these guys. Black hole. So we could do black hole, but look at their life points. These are 9,000 life points. These are 27,000 life points. These are 18,000 life points. And our spell does uh, how much? A couple of thousand, not even that much. It's three to five thousand. So we're not doing a lot of damage here. What we should do is, is um, blind them. So we'll blind these and we'll blind these. And then we'll fire on no, we should not fire. We sh should stop these guys from using their special ability, which is teleporting around. And then... Oh, is that the only way we can get forces? Ugh. 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 Not good. Not good. Not good. Because that is too far away from the goal. Okay, there is only one kind of skeleton at the moment capable of firing at us, and these are these guys. That are the guys we have to get rid of. Well, there's still 11 of them. What is more important, shooting at the next group or getting rid of even more skeletons? I tell you what it is. We totally... Oh, we can kick that... Can we kick that guy? You can kick that guy. Willie! Get the job done. And Willie is the hero and gets the job done. But now a skeleton can teleport there. Yes, I don't care because... But they will not teleport there. They will uh, use their ability to teleport somewhere else. Okay. We want him to act again. And then we go forward. Because we're good in close combat. I mean, they're good at close combat, yes. But we are hopefully even better. He's shackled. These guys are not. Um, we'll try to focus one of them down. If we can. We could rise our own archer skeletons. Which we should to keep them occupied. And of course. These are blinded. These are blinded. Um... Let's blind these, and let's blind these. And then, the trick is simple. We're trying to focus one down at a time. Willie, can you get me more treasure chests, please? If I would have been a clever lad, which I was not, I would have placed the trap on the, sc on the um, bones, because what cannot happen, Willie, if the bones are occupied? The skeletons, the skeletons can teleport there. You know. Oh boy, look at this. They're, they're doing really a lot of damage. Black demons don't Fire! kill. Fire! Black demons don't kill so much. Demons. Oh boy. But we're getting somewhere. I should really try to get that chest. However, it's really close to these guys. Uh, the problem is if we start firing on these skeletons, they will break free. So we don't want that to happen. Um, we should blind this one here. And you will try to hold your horses. Remember, if we hit someone who's blinded, he's not blinded anymore if he takes damage. So we don't want to do that. We want to fire at these guys. These are the next that have to die. We're advancing and we're concentrating fire. We take down one skeleton group after another. That's how we play. Advance, fight, no neutralize. Fight. Perfect. Um, you will wait. And you will just take the chest. 
Very, very nice. So these guys are free now. Now I show you something that might just work. We hit these guys. They hit us back really bad. We use Pain Mirror. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, very sad. Very, very sad. sad. Uh, can we wake Willy again? And get the last chest, which would be beautiful. Excellent. We go forward to get more chests. Remember, we're in this for the chests. However, you can get us a lot of skeletons. Yes, sir. Um, we should concentrate fire, I think, on these guys. And I have a wicked plan. Uh, he's collecting... Does that make sense? Our demon is out of control and he's collecting our treasures. Okay. Uh, whatever. So if I do sacrifice, sacrifice you and refill you. Now that might not make sense on the first step, but we have a lot of resurrection capability that we're not using at this point. And this might just work. The only white card at the moment are the 1,169 um, skeletons up here, because they're not blocked. Okay, he's fully refilled. We're totally good. Can we do that again with the sword? That's the question. How many necromancers can we... Oh, boy, we can have a lot of necromancers. Is that possible? Uh, shoot these guys. Yeah, in terms of destroying guys, we're really, really good. Okay. Willie, no more treasure chests for us. But we can just... Spoil the enemy, gaining some additional mana on the way. Uh, not mana, but um, experience. How much experience? 299. Beautiful. And a crystal. I like that. I want you to rip out the life force and replenish these. Nice work. I want you to replenish these. Nice work. So we didn't pay for the necromancers and we get 14 new. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, we cannot do the trick anymore because, duh. Um, but I think that was pretty cool. So we didn't lose anyone. We actually gained a lot of necromancers due to the combination of sacrifice and revival that is something that doesn't work um very often it only works if the enemy is really really weak so please don't do that if you are not totally in control of the situation the dumbfounded all stares at you with his wide badly eyes are you okay does this always happen when you read scrolls the all shakes his head too i usually read each sibyl slowly and silently. Sometimes something flashes up or makes me feel a little unsettled, but that was the first time it happened. But I'm glad I had the opportunity to show you that I can read. But oh my, such what magic was that. I am now like the great mage Crassus. I have learned many scrolls. I can do magic. You are. But don't do that anymore. Don't you just see what happened? You to accidentally strike us with lightning or expect unexpectedly summon a demon. A demon? I'm afraid of demons. Perhaps I wouldn't read the scrolls after all, selling them to be far safer. But anyway, take this. It was found in the house of the great mage Cresses. It's probably also enchanted. Not a good idea to leave it with me. Now, what could that be? And we received... The cr Elven Crown. Willie, please read what it does. No. Willie has decided to not be a help today. A graceful crown of celestial metal. 
plus 1,000 leadership and plus one morale to elves. Well, the morale to elves would be interesting if we're using, for example, elven archers or anything like that. Um, it also works, of course, with druids. But the interesting part is we get a thousand leadership. The only problem is it has um, a moral. The elven crown of woven metal is not forged but crafted by magical means from the finest, most precious ore. It a symbol of power to of elven kings and great devotion, inspiring all forest dwellers. So this thing will decrease in. Um, moral pretty fast and then it will have to fight it and we'll have to fight a bunch of um, demons I guess which could be bad for us can we try try what not fight the demons and at the moment not because it is I uh, still in control and if we have to fight it it will be towers and most likely elves but there is something else we can do in the next episode we have a lot of items that we can theoretically upgrade to be more effective for example we have well we have the whip that is part of the demon um, we are missing the mask of hate which we can build by b beating down this mask can I do that then? no not yet because the episode is nearly over and we have this set which is an item of demons and where the heck is my there is then we have to do this as well if we want to have a demon army someday this is actually the way to go because uh, you have to upgrade this thing two times to make it really fully efficient can I up upgrade the mask of the to the mask of heat no, not now. Later on. Mm. Willie, this please thing doesn't work with me. Mm. We have a fire resistance of 20%. How, how strong is our fire resistance after all? It's 23%. Ah! Okay, that's not gonna cut it. And well, oh, we only have to cast um, Guardian Angel another um, 28 times and we get Two more percent resistance to all. Now, isn't that amazing? Um, this increases critical hit chance. We should get there relatively fast because we're using a lot of rage. Um, we still have this bone plus two to wolf, hyena, and Severus units. Pooh, I'm not impressed. This also increases initiative and moral of demons. Now, theoretically speaking, if we can find a hero, no matter what kind of companion, I mean, uh, a companion that is capable of wearing two weapons, we can wear the Bow of a Thousand Souls, we could wear the um, Whip of Pain, we could wear the um, Trident of the Demons, Demetrius, and then we would have equipped the entire demon set or all the set items for demon that we have and be really efficient with demons. And demons are good at a lot of stuff in when it comes to fighting. The yeah, only question I something. But I just want to upgrade something. So that is an idea that might just work. Question is, will it work? That one thing I want to upgrade, please. So, we'll end the recording for today. And is there anything we can... We can upgrade this, but that will not help that much. Uh, we could go for intellect. I think we should really do something about this to get more initiative on the way. Um... More defenses, archers. We're not using archers. We're not fencing. We're uh, not counter-attacking. I mean, if we're using demons, theoretically, we're using a lot of counter-attack. And the question is, does power of darkness, at least theoretically, theoretically speaking, um, work on demons later on? That's the question. Then it would be interesting for us. So, with that being said, We'll stop it here and we'll see it next time. Bye.